Tell the people, tell the people, Gracie, what's on your mind? Wow. That's some deep stuff, right? It's yeah. Deep. Also controversial. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Sorry, Gracie. I can't I have uh, no rebuttal. Yeah, we gotta we're gonna get canceled before we even get on here. This is crazy. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Anime Casuals. I'm lucky. Here I go! This hand of mine is burning red! And I'm Michael. Realize the only ones who should kill are those who are prepared to be killed. Johnny. Your darkness swallowed up my son? Who decided that? Opting! Burning! Now all of you... Die. 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 What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Anime Casuals. I'm Lucky. I'm Michael. I'm Johnny. And we're Anime Casual. <laughs> Hit the beat. Music. Go 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 go. Welcome back to Anime Casuals. Uh, so, uh, welcome back to the casual discussion. In particular, we are talking about so. <coughs> We have been trying to be as inclusive as possible these last couple of weeks. We've done, uh, we started off with the hottest women because that's kind of our default, um, you know, since we're cis- cisgender male. Um, and uh, we went from that to trying to talk about the hottest males. Um, after hearing it back, I don't really think we actually covered too much of that. Um, but uh, <laughs> but uh, now today we're going to be talking about um, the hottest partial humans like you know humans that have something with them they usually it's basically like some animal type being that has human properties i'll probably just put partial humans on the title but uh you know whatever i t- whatever hybrid editor, title this uh whatever editor you know decides to title this uh you know that's what we're talking about but uh yeah we're gonna be hey. talking about some of our favorites so um yeah i mean we can still jump off in the deep end there's still time we can go for full non-humans true. later in the future that is very true so i am going to go first um because i want to pick this one before anybody else picks this um and i feel like both of you would have this on your list uh, so go i'm on. just gonna call dibs uh carrot from one piece is <laughs> Dude, I remember thinking, because, you know, there was that dog girl that had, like, Nami's swimsuit top on for a while. And I was like, I, mm-hmm. you know, I just don't see what the appeal is, even though she got some big ass titties. Right. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I was just like, ah, oh, this is it, it feels weird. Right. Because you're looking at a dog head, but on a hot ass body, like the fur doesn't bother me as much, much as like, dog. yeah, a little, too, little too much dog. But then I saw a carrot and I was like. That's actually not that much bunny, if you think about it. Like, bunnies don't exactly look like that. It's just mostly the nose and the ears. And then everything else, and especially, I mean, kind of spoiler alerts for uh, if you guys haven't watched the Whole Cake Island arc. Uh, When she goes, like, full on, like, full moon mode, I was like, bro, the long hair, bro, <laughs> just freaking squeeze me between your thighs and kill me. I <laughs> good. Holy God. That was... Wood. That was a little too much. Also, it kind of reminds me of my first, uh, one of my first gaming crushes, which her name was Alice, and she was uh, from the game uh, Bloody Roar, where literally you turn into animals, right? And, you know, guess what? She turned into a giant rabbit, and I was like, whoa, this is crazy how hot this is, and I don't <laughs> like it. Um, maybe I think that may have been, like, where I first got traumatized by furries, so maybe that's why I furry. <laughs> maybe that's why I don't like furries as much anymore, but, uh, yeah, what's, uh, what's yours, Michael? I was just about to say, uh, let's refer back to that uh, podcast that Lucky did about furries, and then like let's come back to this conversation right now. And you know what? I will also say she's got soft fur, so that's you know different than you know the dog lady. You know that's like a different type of fur. You know bunnies are nice and soft. You can cuddle that. That's fine. It's just that snout. Yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna steal one from Johnny already. Uh, we're gonna go over to uh, Mia from uh, Monster Masume. She's much, before I get into why I like her, she's much better than the Harpy. She's much better. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could I could have an argument for the Centaur. I'm not into mermaids, even though there's a mermaid on my list. Um, and uh, she, I think she's tied equally with me with Sue, who is the slime girl. Um, 
Now, Sue, I like a lot because of her personality, not because of her body type, because she's just made of slime. She's all slimy. Yeah, she can be anything. Yeah, she can be anything. But Mia is great because she's both wildly attracted to our main character and she's got great personality. She's got two pieces of great personality. Um, and I just really like her as a character. She's very sweet. She's kind. She wants to bang our main character, even if like he's like, no, 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 I can't. And she's like, I'll just break your arm then, even though she's not doing it on purpose. Uh, and then like, you know, there's, there's lots of lovely moments throughout the whole, like a whole 12 episodes that, you know, just call her out. It's, uh, she, she's great. And if you don't know who she is, she's a Lamia, which means she's half mm -hmm. snake and top half person. And there's some hilarious moments throughout the film where they're like, where are your parts? I was like, oh, there they are. Okay, got it. We were figuring yeah, everything you'll, out. Yeah, you'll learn everything you need to know. Yeah. Monster Masume. Yeah, exactly. Same, uh, I know it's going to come up later, but like, same like Monster Girl Doctor. There's a, there's a Lamy. I'm not too in, enthused with a Lamy in that, but there's definitely some, some characters in there that are killer. Go ahead, Johnny. <laughs> uh, so you did. You took uh, one of my choices. So, uh, you know, go burn somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um. But mine, so my first one will be a uh, Raph Talia. Um, you son of a jerk! Hey, hey, you shot first. That's all <laughs> Got I'm gonna say. Got you. Uh, <laughs> it's self defense. I had to, uh, and she's just uh, the greatest thing. Um, just so cute. She's got a uh, the tiny. Uh, I mean, it's, it's raccoon, but isn't it's red panda technically, right? No, she's, she's a raccoon. raccoon. Oh, really? But she's also a red panda. Okay, I figure with the color scheme. Either way, she's got the tiny ears and, you know, the tail. And even when I, she's just great all around and she's got a great attitude. Plus the English. She's voiced by uh, Deanne from uh, Seven Deadly Sins. I should know the real name, but, you know, I don't. So no the reference. She, no, she's literally voice acted by Deanne. Yeah. 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 Deanne got, yeah. A, got a voice actress gig. She's she's trying it out, you know. <laughs> Nice. She left the so does that mean Meliodas uh, voices Kirito? Is that, is that how that works? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, the Seven Deadly yeah. Sins are really branching out, man, ever since this whole... <laughs> they they got to do a side job before season uh, the, the last part of season uh, three. Yeah, they got to get money somehow. I mean, yeah, how, they, how are they going to afford to still be in uh, the Seven Deadly Sins? Yeah, dude. How, how is the Boar Hat Tavern going to get money, Lucky? Exactly. <laughs> and so now we know, guys. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's... Uh, I was actually going to choose that, too, if... Uh, or Michael, um, but uh, you know, thank you, Johnny. You 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 did it, man. You did raccoon it. girl. Um, since she's already... also, can I call it, can I say something? No, no dibs. Not no <laughs> no dibs. I would say she's adorable and she's very attractive. I would not say like she's like objectifiable. Don't objectify it. Don't objectify her. <laughs> well, they already did that in the show because they they already went to the beach and she's like, "How's my how's my uh, my swimsuit?" No, but she wants to be objectified. But don't objectify her. <laughs> don't give her what she wants. Okay, yeah, don't fine. Don't give her what she wants. Objectify fine, Michael. Mind. Fine. Yeah, objectify her mind. She's also her she's also under a slave contract, Ooh, and you know. She also is like has a slave contract thing here, and she's just like, "How does it look?" No, for me, how does it look? <laughs> um, but uh, since she's already been mentioned, I figured I would go with Safi, which is the other. What what was the word you use for the snake people, Michael? Lamia. 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 That sounds too much like Labia, and I don't want to use it. Um, but uh, you know, another snake person from Monster Girl Doctor. Um, I kind of liked her because, uh, unlike uh, the chick from Monster Masume, I feel like she this girl like has more redeeming qualities to her not saying that the other one doesn't but i feel like hers are like the ones from monster masume is more ditzy more like all over the main character whereas this one is like cares about a lot of people and she's like and she's also like super into uh you know whatever the monster girl doctor guy's name is and um she's a doctor and an assassin yeah That's exactly assassin. why i couldn't pick her like <laughs> yeah. i was like like dude, she's too cool and she'll kill me dude she is so like it's so crazy because i for some reason i wasn't into the girl from monster masume but when i saw this one i think it was because she had like her she was like made up and everything and you know her eyes were just like sapphires you know she got the outfit too. and yeah, yeah she got the outfit too and um also i feel like you know it'd be kind of cool because then she could just protect me from other people you know what i'm saying like she's <laughs> she kind of like works as like a uh, like a protecting uh like anaconda kind of thing while she also takes care of my anaconda if you know what i mean wink wink um probably more like a gardener snake but um you know yeah it's uh, <laughs> a gardener <laughs> snake uh there we go um but uh yeah uh sappy yeah. gonna be mine um and with that i i don't think any of us would have cho chosen any of the spider ladies um, I was close. You were close. 
Yeah. I mean, I'd go with the, funny enough, the first one, even though the first one is uh, definitely a lot scarier than the tarantula. The Black Widow. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. The Black Widow is scary. I, the other one's bigger and that I, she's shifty. I don't know. But she's fuzzy. Like, I don't know why the fuzziness combats the pure alien nature That's of the true, Black Widow. That's true, but her personality is just more shifty than the other one. I, the Black Widow just wants just wants bondage, right? So, yeah. I mean, okay. I mean, yeah. I, I, the, the fuzziness, she's not going to betray me or anything. I don't know. The fuzziness, like, you know, like, tarantulas, like, <laughs> like freaking get that shit off and, like, throw it in your eye so it blinds you, right? Like, I don't know about that. I, it's a different kind of fuzziness that I don't like. Yeah. Wait, wait. The hair on a tar- tarantula, they can throw it at you. Yeah, they, they 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 do this, and it like goes up into the air, and then if you if it hits your eyes, it like blinds you for a bit. And huh. uh, I don't like that. It's I think it's a certain tarantula that does it, but either way, I don't I don't like that fuzziness, bro. Either way, that's, that's why I'm not picking them because while I will I will admit the Monster Girl Doctor one is a little bit more appealing for me. I'm not into that, so I'll just go with a half dragon. Or a full dragon, I'll pick Toru from uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. I thought you were now, going with the dragon girl from Monster Do- Girl Doctor. I was like, because <laughs> right before this, you were like, don't pick that girl. And I, I was like, oh, that's why you didn't want me to pick her. You creepy no, fucker. No you lollies. Creepy. No you lollies on our list. Get out of here. Um, I'm picking Toru. Well, I guess she's not really a human at all. Like, she's just a dragon that can look human. Right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anything, but yeah. I will pick her because she has a human form. <laughs> uh, she is one of like the most like she's very objectifiable because she's like, I love her line in the first episode where she's like, she's like, I want to eat you, and then Miss Kobayashi's like, Whoa, no, that'll kill me, and she's like, No, in a sexy way, and I was like, I can get behind. Yeah, we can all we can all as group get behind the sexy way of eating somebody. I'm I'm okay with that. Eat her tail, please. Eat her tail. Uh, yeah, see, lucky. It's just like that weird tint of like green to it. I'm like, no. <laughs> but she removed the poison, Johnny. Mm-hmm. She removed the poison. It's better for you now. It still looks gross. Yes. How does she good. know? I mean, if poison just doesn't even affect her, I mean, come on. Come on. I don't I mean, know. Maybe you can taste it. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I love it's her poison. personality and how she's always very like the most outgoing, even though she doesn't know what's going on in the human world. Uh, I, I really like how she is constantly like a half mother to all the other dragons who are coming in this world, kind of helping them out and teaching them. Um, and like, she's one of my mo- more favorite characters beyond being one of the main, like main focus of the anime. Her, like her determination not to go back to her own world and being like, you guys are all crazy. You're all about fighting and war. I'm ready to retire from that life, even though she's a dragon, lives a heck of a long time. Uh, I'm ready to retire from that life and just live on my own. I was like, I could get behind that, Miss Toru, Miss Thor. I could get behind that. And uh, that's why, plus she's, she looks great. I mean, anytime she has the, that beach episode, I was just like, you're, you're killing it. You're killing it. Maybe one from Johnny's pig, maybe cuts a bottle. Uh, I, you know, she kills it too much. Like she's going over a little overboard. Is that the Jessica know, Negri dragon? That's the mm-hmm. Jessica Negri dragon, yes. Nice. <laughs> Speaking of the Jessica Negri dragon, <laughs> that's actually my second choice. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, my list has been thrown in disarray, and I've had to pick things as I go. And yeah, I happened to be thinking of that before you, uh, you said yours, but yeah. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce it. Luko, Luko, uh, I'm not sure. But uh, she is an awesome dragon, um, and she's just kind of funny. I don't really see her as... I. She seems vaguely like airheaded, but I don't really see her as airheaded. I feel like she's just been around for so long. She just doesn't care, which is also great and fun yeah. attitude, you know, just whatever, you know. She's also very helpful. They're out there. Just let me wear a hat. Done. You know, <laughs> I'm going to help this kid find himself down below. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Take that quote, clip it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's a uh, super fun. Um, there you go. I, okay. She's also got two different, like oh, fully yeah. different color eyes, which I think crazy. is very attractive. That's, it's like, her the like you know normally people <laughs> with two different color eyes. It's just like yeah, you got a you got a two colors. You got two colors. Her eyes are so drastically different that I'm like, you pulled that wizard out of you pulled that eye out of a wizard's head, and then you pulled that eye out of like a demon's head, and then you put them in your own head. It looks great. <laughs> Damn, that's hot. 
That's freaking hot, bro. It's so hot that I reverted back to puberty for that. <laughs> um, anyway, um, my next pick. Okay, so this is a cheating one that I was saying. So this is technically a human that turns into a beast when she equips something with it, which is Leona oh, from Mikami opposite. Got Kill. Um, oh, okay. And I really, I really like like when she goes full like animal because she's like freaking a savage. And not only that, like since they show all the blood and gore and shit. Um, I'm trying to think of how not to incriminate myself in this. Um, it's somewhat hot seeing her tear people to, th- to shreds. And I don't know why. It's almost like, you know, it's like, you know, she was my girl. Then it'd be like, yo, she's tearing people up to shreds for me. Kind of like S-Death, right? She's got that quality <laughs> where she's like, I could totally protect you and kill everybody around you. You know, okay. any girl that looks at you the wrong way, I'll just tear I'm her with apart. You. No big deal. I'm um, with you now. And Leone was like the first girl where, you know, she's literally like one of the first people that you meet from Night Raid. And, uh, you know, when you see her, you're just like, oh, my God, this she got some big ass titties. And, uh, you know, that along with like the fierce like spirit and everything uh, was just too much. And um, yeah, I'm into blondes, too. I guess that that's another thing. Um, I'm into blondes and asian women like you know i want to i want to be like mike tyson someday you know i want to go i want to go through uh japanese women like grapes you know i want to <laughs> <laughs> mike tyson's such a savage oh, i just want i just want to see next week no oh my god dude i just want to see like a whole list of how many jap i just want to know how many japanese girls he went through because there's a lot of grapes on like a single he grape thing through. Yeah, that's what he's that's literally a quote that he says. And I was like, dude, what a savage man. Uh, but yeah, so so uh, yeah, Leone from uh Kame Got Kill is my next one. Well, in uh typical fashion, mine's not human, but she looks human. Uh we're just gonna get right into Overlord. We're gonna go to Albedo. Uh, I did mention her in a previous one. Uh you just you just can't get around her quote unquote personality of like She's bone loving. She loves some, some a good set of bones, if you know if you know what I mean. Um, and she's just thirsty for him, to the point where there's like one episode where we where we see her getting off by grinding on him, and he's just a set of bones. Which I you know maybe that feels great. I don't I, you know I'm not I'm not entirely sure. I mean in the other sense that's uh, that's how babies are made, but in this sense he's literally a set of bones. Do you think it's so- like that girl from um from uh? Code Geass. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, like, do you think it's like the table fucking? Like she's just into bone fucking? Like she just slides <laughs> along the bones and everything? The Maybe she goes along those ribs. Goes along yeah. those ribs and she's like, yeah. oh. <laughs> I just don't know. Like she wants to have a kid with him and I just don't know how that's going to happen. But you know, that's what happens when you edit an AI right before it becomes real. You know, you make it love you and then it loves you. It loves you. But my, my favorite thing about her is that because they're they weren't real and they became real. She's still technically a virgin, but like succubuses are not supposed to be virgins and are supposed to be like slayer of men and like banging everything. And so there's like one scene where she's like trying to ride her darkest horse that only responds if you don't have any, if you're not pure at all. And she's still technically pure in some sense. And it's like, hey, get off me. And she's like, oh no, I guess I have to go make love to, to Eins for, for, for science. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, Alberto, uh, 10 out of 10. Uh, I have also a demon type of chick but i'm actually gonna stick with the animal theme just because that's where we're at uh i'm gonna go with um you know i don't totally remember her name but monkey from um oh no now i'm forgetting the anime juni tyson just call her monkey that's what everybody else calls her now there's no other characters named monkey no there's probably there probably is don't look it up uh but yeah i I choose her um just because she uh did a lot of uh, just to generalize Shaolin and Kung Fu training. Um, so, you know, she's pretty ripped under all that clothes and uh, she just seems pretty thick. And that tail, she's got to be pretty limber. Uh, yeah, monkey. Yeah, I mean, her I wanted to see more from her and I didn't get to see enough. She's like, uh, for good, for the good of mm-hmm. the world. And her powers are actually really cool too. I mean, so she's got the alchemy, right? Is that what she... Yeah, well, she can transmute things to sand, yeah. basically, with the, which I don't know what that has to do with monkeys. But anyway, um, dude, I... I still remember when I, I heard that. for Do-do-do. monkey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're getting copies right, right. I don't remember what I was going to say. Anyway. Um, 
Hey, I changed it so much that we can't get copyright strike now. Um, but uh, dude, when I saw when I heard the English dub for that first, I was like, Caitlin Glass, yes, please. Um, dude, she has such a good voice. Actually, she's not too bad either. I mean, I'm sorry, never mind. Let me go. Yeah, let me let me go back to let me go back to. Uh, These are non-humans. Anime. Yeah, sorry, yeah, I'm sorry, non non -humans. Going, going back to the non-humans. Um, Objectify the fake people, not the real people. I did, I did, I did want to, I did want to include in this list. You know, since we are all inclusive, I did want to include a guy in this list. So you know, I'm just I'm gonna go oh, into this. Too. Um, okay. this is this is going to be Beta from uh from Is It Wrong to Try and Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? He is the Silver Wolf guy with the the kicking gauntlets. Um, I just the fact that he's just so like nonchalant about everything, doesn't give a shit. He's Bakugo Bakugo's voice actor voices him. Um, mm -hmm. just d dude, he goes freaking nuts and doesn't really give a shit either. Like you know, he he he'll just straight up say things how they are. I I still remember, dude. I was really worried about Bell in the beginning um, because when he, when Bell just kept getting his feelings hurt, I was like, "Dude, Betta, keep fucking nailing this kid because this guy is so stupid. Like he needs to get he needs to grow a pair, like you, my man." And um, yeah, dude. And plus, I mean, he's so strong too. He's he's so strong. Oh my god. Um, oh, but <laughs> um, oh, yeah, that man. that that <laughs> that and how like he dresses too. He's got like the the douchebag uh, like open chest uh, vest. Yes, just like Bond. Uh, you gotta yeah, look dude, like a douche. Dude, gotta look like a douche, bro. And uh, dude doesn't give a shit, bro. I mean, he can kick your ass, so it doesn't even matter if you call him a douche. He's just like, oh, I'll just yeah. kick your face in. Um, yeah, I'd probably say, uh, yeah, so Betta from, uh, from It's the Wrong to Try and Pick Up Girls in Dungeon. You know, I'll follow you along along the guy path because I also added one guy because he is a very attractive dude, and I picked Sun from Ruby. Um, boy, voice acted by one of my more favorite uh, influencers, or I guess YouTubers, uh, Michael Jones. And this guy does not get his due. He's like in two seasons and then they drop him full for like three. I don't know if he's in the most recent season, but probably not. Um, then they drop him hard. But, you know, he also has the open chest. You know, he's got he's got to look ripped. He's got the tail. He's very monkey like and he's got the awesome staff. Very much looking like the monkey king, you know, in here. And then he's got a kick ass ability where he just separate into what, like six other versions of himself. And then he like Naruto Uzumaki barrages people. So, like, he's awesome. Plus, his personality is exactly the type of guy you'd probably want to hang out with. Kind of quirky, kind of silly, and just kind of just flowing. Just kind of going with, just kind of going with everything. Plus, he's, you know, hooking up with another person I picked was Blake. So, you know, and she's kind of the opposite. She's dark. She's moody. She, you would probably find her in a room full of candles. All the lights turned off. And then just sitting in the corner reading a book. But, you know. That's that's up there, you know. She's also a cat lady, so that's that, that's up there too. Hey, can I be real with you guys for a second? So Blake was like my original, like you know, like when I first went started watching Ruby, I was like, "Yo, this Blake girl, she gets me, bro. She gets me. She's yeah, emo as shit. She's just wearing black all the time. She's always running the fuck away. I'm like, I can get <laughs> behind this chick, dude. This girl is all there. You can but get behind I her. don't. Yeah, dude. I don't know." I don't know why though. There's always something about her that just I couldn't completely go with her. Like I, there was just something about her. And then, you know, time went on and she dropped my boy's son like a ton of bricks, bro. And I was like, <laughs> bro, you you can't just drop my boy's son, bro. You can't just you can't just drop him. You can't just drop what what are you gonna do to me? Like if, if you drove that to Sun, what are you gonna do to me? Like she's what gonna leave you for Yang? That's dude, what she's gonna do. Yeah, dude, the piece of shit. Like, dude, I can be the yin to your yang. Why you need it? This yang, come on. That's Johnny. <laughs> you know, take my side on this. Take Yang away from Blake so I can get Blake, and then we can all live happily ever after. I'm done with my rant. So go ahead. Johnny. I'm sorry, Lucky. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to split her with Sun if she's gonna stick with that. Are you I'll okay split her right that? down the middle. That's fine. What? Johnny. <laughs> <What's up? laughs> uh hmm. i didn't really plan a guy oh well i'm sorry it's back to lucky shirt here we go yeah <laughs> wait are you serious it's really back to my turn <laughs> you're not even gonna say another girl johnny you, know, uh, you can't say anything more. He's not, not animal I mean, not animal else is like demons and stuff 
Oh, that's oh. fine. Why don't you why don't you give us one of your demons? Well, I mean, he got he got Albedo. Okay. He's kind of like a demon. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, she's she's kind a of an animal demon. She's got animal features. Um, it's actually too bad she's not in the series for too long, and uh, it kind of upsets me, especially when she's really hot. Um, it's from Bleach. It's your no, just kidding. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually Neliel. Uh, unfortunately, she is a kid most of the time, but for like wait, the... wait, 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 hold on. You don't even have to keep going. I get you, Johnny. That's so Centaur, seven though. seconds of when she turns into her real form. I got you. Now yeah. you can keep going. Yeah. 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 The, she, uh, she turns into her real form for all of like two and a half episodes, maybe three. And it's, it's rocking because as a child, she's got this really big, like a potato sack basically. And that doesn't change when she gets bigger. So she just ends up ripping the potato sack and it like goes right under it. It divides the globe. It's the equator there mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's just great and she's got uh the, the animal feature is the goat horns on her head <laughs> so that well that's also what's cool is like when she when she goes into her doll form like she looks more uh i forgot what they call it, the hollow she looks a mm -hmm. lot more hollow like um and she's not human so she's a no a, an amalgamation of a bunch of human souls yeah. that she has eaten or stolen <laughs> But oh, yeah, Nelly L. She's, she's cooking their cup size too, man. That's crazy, I, <laughs> dude. Yeah, I I can see that. I actually had to capture some footage for because uh, uh, Neutra was on my one of my lists for like pretty recently. The guy that uh, that knocks her on the head and messes her messes up her. I was gonna uh, say what list? Uh, curious. It's like top five uh, jerks heroic entrances because uh, you know when Kenpachi oh. saves Ichigo. Gotcha. Um, but uh, dude, I remember thinking to myself, dude, like this guy is like the ultimate asshole. Not only does he get rid of best girl, he just freaking, you know, beats the shit out of Ichigo for like way too long. Like, you know, starts to damage my boy Kenpachi. Then again, he does bring out the best in Kenpachi. But uh, anyway, back to my list. I um, feel like I had to go with this one. She's very recent to the series. Um, this is going to be Mirko from My Hero. This is the bunny girl that like, <laughs> dude, I was, I was really surprised. Like, re I remember we had mentioned her in one of our weekend talks because, you know, she was, uh, she ended up like kind of saving, you know, saving uh, Endeavor and Hawks from, uh, from Dobby, even though I don't know if he was going to do anything at that point. But, uh, <laughs> you know, dude, the way she came down on that freaking pavement, I was like, bruh. Just sign me up. I don't. I don't care if I have to go to your agency. I don't care if you want me as like a water boy. <laughs> like just whatever you want me to do. I think this goes back to the bunny rabbit thing. I think I've been traumatized ever since I was a kid from that I'll Alice say, girl. You from... might want to hold on about being between those thighs. <laughs> yeah, I don't just crush what's ever in there. No, that's I... okay though. He's okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I. I don't know. I. I'm. Yeah, I. You know what? I think you have to kind of measure the pros and the cons. You know, figure out what you want to do. You know, I mean. If I die that way, that's like death by Shnushnu, right? Like that's that's broken pelvis, and that's a way to die that I, I can be proud of. Shnu. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Break it off. Ah! Done. Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, I could probably get off in that time, but yeah, I mean, it, you know, it, it really depends on how everything's going. But uh, yeah, Mirko from uh, My Hero, newest, new, or newer oh, edition, nice. number five hero, and uh, number one in my heart. Is there right any now. more you want to lightning off? Uh, sure. I got, um, I, <laughs> I did a little small <laughs> shout out to Shaltier, who is the vampire girl from Overlord. <laughs> um, but she's a little, she's a little too lolly for me, but I, there, there was something about that scene when, when, uh, when Ainz just sits on her and she's like digging it. I was like, mm, something about the freaking masochism really gets me and it's pissing me off. And she pads uh, though. Lucky she pads. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, she's like, she's past the age. So she, you know, she's over, you know, she's, she's like hundreds, hundreds of years, of years old. Yeah. <laughs> so we're good on that. Um, also, I wanted to give a shout out to Frederica, who is from uh, Ray Zero. Oh, Ray Zero. Yeah, uh, she's. Uh, um, dude, I can't even remember half of these guys' names. Uh, Garfield's sister. Um, something about her in that freaking uh, maid outfit. Even though I know she is way too young, um, I just wanted to say, you know, she looks very good in a respectable manner. That I'm looking. You know, I'm not using my male gaze. I'm just saying the way that they portrayed her. If she was a little bit older, I might be putting her on this list, but I'm putting her as an honorable mention. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, open up. No, actually, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. No, uh, uh, Johnny and I actually have a list of dragon maids. <laughs> if you would like to come over and check those out. <laughs> <laughs> 
FBI, open up. No. <laughs> um, so, uh, Michael, <laughs> We're too old got, for you. <laughs> Michael, you got any uh, any other ones you want to give a shout out to? Yeah, uh, of course, I got to throw Sue Yu on that list. Again, not objectifying her. She's very she's very attractive. She's great, but she's also underage. Um, I know Bunny Girl is not because she's a professional hero. Um, and the rest of mine are just shout outs. Uh, we got Netsuko from uh, Demon Slayer, who is a demon uh she's just and, and the rest of mine are just cute well i guess number one um they're very adorable i love my favorite moment is what my uh my background on my computer which is where she's in a box and then like that person tries to pick her up and take her away in the box and she's like she just looks at him and she's like ah and he runs away i'm like she's just too adorable like you can't you can't get over how adorable she acts normally and then, like, she shrinks into a little tiny form, and you just put her in a box, and you mm-hmm. can carry her everywhere. Um, and then my last shout-out um, is Shira Hoshi from uh, One Piece. She's just stacked, bruh. She's stacked. True that. And she big. So how are you going to get in that, though? You know, I was wondering about that with Hody Jones, you know? Like, how is he going to get in that, bro? Like, he, like she's, like, five times his – no, not, probably even more. Like, ten times his size. Like, where are you going to enter? Like, let's be real here. Where are you going to enter? Does she just lay eggs and then you fertilize them? Is that good enough for you? Like, what's yeah. going on here? Like, yeah. is that, yeah. like, dude, I don't you know. You get a bunch of diving equipment for her pleasure. And then you just find <laughs> where you got to go. Are you going to make sure the diving equipment is ribbed? <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, I mean, giant mermaid. <laughs> yeah, but he can't swim underwater. That's true. Equipment. <laughs> no, you oh just you just let her squish you between her breasts. And then you just you live happily there until you die. She grinds you to dust. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh my God. Well, that is our list for hottest, whatever the hell I'm going to name this hottest partial human, non human, whatever uh, characters in anime. But as always, guys, you are more than welcome to email us at, at anime casuals with an S, real, R E A L, at gmail.com if you guys have any topics that you'd like us to discuss or any videos that you'd like to suggest for us. Also, you can check out our uh, link tree in the description box down below, which will have all things casual from the Casual Bros podcast, uh, generally casual podcast, this or the podcast, depending on what you guys are listening to or the YouTube channel and Mental Health Casual, the podcast and the YouTube channel. But as always, guys, don't forget to keep it casual. casual.